Forventningerne til revanchemødet mellem Carl Froch og Mikkel Kessler er skyhøje. Hypen omkring kampen er enorm, og billetterne til opgøret den 25. maj er for længst drevet væk. Men ud over træningen er promoveringen af kampen i medierne mindst lige så vigtigt. Derfor var Mikkel Kessler i løbet af ugen forbi Sky Sports studie i London, hvor han talte om det kommende møde med Carl Froch. Let's start with the fight then, shall we? They say that style makes fights. Do you think this is why so many fans are getting so excited about what's coming up at the end of May? Yes, of course. You know, uh, if they saw the, the the first fight I fight with me and Carl, uh, it was a huge uh, war, and uh, and the two styles makes a very a good fight if you can say it like that but of course i i hope that the uh, people that are not used to watching boxing are, are coming to see it or at least uh, buy it on the tv because it's uh, it's going to be a big big fight and uh, i'm training very very hard for this fight this is your day off today yes it your is one day off <laughs> one day off today <laughs> and i have to do this <laughs> interview but of course it's it's okay um I'm looking forward to the fight with God. I really do. And um, that's why I hope there's a lot of people that's coming to watch it. Uh, you say you're, you're working very, very hard. This is your day off. And, and I'm sure Carl Froch is, is doing his utmost as well. But he did some unusual promotional work the yeah. other day. This is him getting his face painted. What do you make when you see an, an next opponent lo looking like this? I wrote him a Twitter that uh, If he, if he was going to a wrestling match the 25th of May. But <laughs> of course, it's, uh, it's okay. He looks good. He looks like a warrior. I'm looking forward to that. Um, how do you build yourself up mentally for a fight like this? You know, uh, I like Carl outside the ring. He's a nice guy. But uh, as further we get to the fight, it would be, uh, I think we'll get a distance to each other. Uh, we are human, both of us, but we're also going to Uh, hit each other very hard. So of course you you, you put up a wall in the last uh, couple the last week maybe, and um, and as I always said, I, I, I don't like the trash talking. Why? Uh, you know uh, the worst kind of fighter is is a gentleman right on onto the maybe a week before the fight, because you can really uh, think uh, you can really see what he's thinking about. What is he doing? What is it? But this guy is not saying anything and nice to you. He's the worst fighter. How do you do that then? You said you like him, and 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 I'm not saying this because you're sat sort of four feet away from me. But you're a very polite, <laughs> nice man. How do you yeah. do that when the bell rings? Do you want to go and hit someone really, really hard? It 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 seems strange. Yeah, it is. But but it's the sport. It's what I love, and it's. Uh, It's always difficult to to explain to people why why how do you why do you like to hit another person? And I said that's the sport. That's what I've been doing since I was 13 years old. I like it, and Carl likes it likes it also. But it means when, when we look at each other when we stand in that ring, it's going to be death in our eyes, in my eyes. It, at it, least. Is, is there a, is there ever a moment though that you've sort of thought, you know what? I don't fancy doing it. I just fancy a cup of tea today, <laughs> and, 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 and I don't fancy hitting this bloke. Have you yeah. ever got in a ring and thought that? No, never, never. If Carl Frotch is watching this at the moment, I'm sure he is, what message would you send to him? Where should I look? Straight down there. Carl, you have to be ready this time. More than ready. <laughs>